certain cases when pirates glassware has been heated to high temperatures and then allowed to cool, it spontaneously explodes. This is especially true if the hot glass comes into contact with water. On the other hand, Pyrex glassware made for the laboratory resists shattering when it's heated and then allowed to cool. This difference is because laboratory glassware is made of borosilicate glass, while glassware for the kitchen is made of soda lime glass. This type of glass does have the advantage that it's resistant to shattering through mechanical stress, so it's good for use in the kitchen. Borosilicate laboratory glass? Yeah, it doesn't hold up so well under these conditions. Glassware is generally separated into two types, to contain and to deliver. To contain glassware refers to glassware that is used to contain a certain amount of volume. It is designed to contain liquids, but when transferring liquids, it delivers less than the indicated volume due to the liquids clinging to the sides. Volumetric flasks contain a precise volume at a particular temperature and can be found in different volumes and sizes. Solutions are made up until the graduation line, which indicates the desired volume. The volumetric flask is used to dilute samples precisely and for the preparation of standard solutions. A beaker has a cylindrical shape with a flat bottom and is available in a wide range of sizes. A beaker is used for stirring, mixing, or heating liquids and is not used for precise measurements. It possesses a flat base, conical body, and a cylindrical neck. A conical flask is found in different volumes. This glassware is also not for accurate volumetric measurements, but is used to mix contents by swirling without the risk of spillage. One example of its use is during a titration. A measuring cylinder is used to measure a certain volume of liquid, but is not as precise as a pipette or burette. It is found in different volumes. The volume of the measuring cylinder is found here. A weighing bottle is used for the precise weighing of solids. Long U-shaped glassware that is open at the top and closed at the bottom. Test tubes are used for qualitative experiments. They are used to mix, hold, and heat solutions, and then observe the changes. The second type of glassware is classified as to deliver. To deliver glassware refers to the glassware that is designed to deliver a precise volume. They are designed to contain a little more solution than the indicated volume, so as to deliver the precise volume stated on the glassware. This is due to some of the liquid sticking to the sides of the glassware. A pipette is used to measure a volume of solution with extreme precision. This is done by using a probe pipette to suck up the solution. Pipettes are found in different sizes. This is the volume of the solution to be delivered, which should be recorded as 20.00 milliliters. This value indicates the expel time. Once all the solution has been expelled, you will need to continue to expel for approximately this period of time to ensure that you have delivered all of the liquid. A single graduated ring indicates the calibrated volume, for example, 20.00 milliliters. A volumetric burette delivers a measured volume of solution. The flow of the liquid is controlled by the stopcock valve. Burettes are available in different sizes. A burette is usually used during a titration. The volume is recorded to two decimal places, for example, 25.56 milliliters.
Dirty glassware is one of the leading causes of experimental errors. Often glassware appears to be clean, however it may be chemically dirty. Traces of ions, soluble substances, or different solvents cause errors that can be prevented with some extra effort during washing and rinsing. Soap, detergent, or abrasive powder may be used for washing glassware. To remove stubborn stains, soak the glassware in a detergent solution. The soaking process can be either hot or cold and can continue for extended periods of time. After soaking, rinse the glassware thoroughly with tap water followed by a small distilled water rinse. Never use hand cleaner or soap. Hand cleaners usually contain hand lotion additives which leave an oily film on the glass. General laboratory glassware should be scrubbed inside and out with the available laboratory detergent and brushes and thoroughly rinsed with tap water to remove cleaners. Finally, glassware should be rinsed with a small amount of distilled or deionized water. Volumetric glassware such as pipettes, burettes, and volumetric flasks should not be scrubbed with ordinary brushes as they tend to scratch the glass and can change the calibration. Special brushes are available for this purpose. When cleaning glassware, all pre-existent chemical labels should be removed. Squirt methanol on a paper towel and wipe the outsides of your glassware. Never squirt methanol on glassware as it produces unnecessary waste. Marker labels should never be applied in the white area of glassware. If glassware becomes too dirty or contains chemical residue that cannot be washed with detergent and water, it has to be cleaned using a chemical cleaning agent. Chemical cleaning agents are corrosive, so the use of appropriate gloves is mandatory. Crucibles and other glassware that is contaminated with metals are cleaned by soaking in a solution of hydrochloric or nitric acid. Concentration is dependent on the type of residue to be removed. Glassware contaminated with organic materials is soaked in sodium hydroxide or organic solvents such as acetone or methanol. If soaking in the appropriate chemical agent is not sufficient, more corrosive agents have to be used. A chromic acid cleaning solution made of chromium-6 oxide and sulfuric acid may be used to remove stubborn deposits. Acaregia is a mixture of three volumes of 12 molar hydrochloric acid with one volume of 16 molar nitric acid. Acaregia can be used to remove stubborn inactive metals. Another common glassware cleaning agent is alcoholic potassium hydroxide a solution of potassium hydroxide and ethanol. Alcoholic potassium hydroxide is used to remove organic materials from glassware.